All right. We're going to start out with our dry ingredients. A couple uh, cups of uh, whole wheat flour. You don't have to accurately measure or sift. A uh, cup of old fashioned oats. Some cinnamon. Mix her up. Now we'll mix up our wet ingredients. Put about a cup of honey in. Some real maple syrup. Vanilla. Molasses, some real prune juice, some applesauce, a banana, ripe banana, and we'll put in a little crushed pineapple and juice. I'm going to put in three very ripe avocados. Alrighty. And I, I'm going to use a little hand mixer on these guys. Okay, now we're going to add our wet ingredients, wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. Okay, Let's stir this up. Looking for a consistency around peanut butter when you mix the two together if you don't have peanut butter consistency then it just adjusts you can put in more dry ingredients or more wet ingredients that's what I'm getting here just a, a heavy batter I think that's going to be just fine so this is our basic recipe and then we just put different add-ins to it, whatever you want. I like putting in a, some shredded, shredded carrot all the time, so I got one hand shredded carrot there. I'm going to put in some sunflower seeds. And I picked up some pecans. A handful of pecans or so there. And some really nice dried cherries. And some dried blueberries. I'll mix this all in. Makes a really nice breakfast bar. There's the one loaf, most of the loaves. I call them loaves because that's what they are. They're more like bricks. They weigh about every one I've made is over four pounds. And they yield 16 really nice uh, half inch slices. I'm about three ounces or so a piece. There's your consistency. That's a nice batter to bake. Oh, and take a standard bread pan, loaf pan. 
Put a little olive oil into it. Coat the sides, bottom and the sides nicely. Always good to coat these. If you have lips on it, coat the lips. That way nothing sticks too bad and you can depan your, your loaf pretty easily. If you use two cups of whole wheat flour and one cup of oats, it only really always comes out just to fill one bread pan nicely. I hardly ever make one loaf anymore, but we've moved. Getting older now, I got a, got a retirement community little home here. And, well, I thought I'd try and make one in our little countertop oven. Had to give me 16 regular servings. But since most ovens hold eight of these bread pans, I really like making eight at a time. Just not that much more work. And uh, freezing them, they freeze solid like a brick. They won't take up much room in your freezer. When I want one, I just pull it out, put it down in the fridge, let it thaw a little bit. I like keeping them in the fridge. They last longer. Most of I've never had one that wouldn't last at least a month. Stay nice and fresh. Slice so it off when when you want some. And, Eat another one, pull it out of the freezer. That way you only have to make them a few times a year. There you go. I'm going to put her in the oven behind me here. Well, we've let this king size energy bar cool for a little over an hour and uh, what I like to do is put them in the fridge overnight before I eat them. Uh, refrigeration really uh, it really intensi intensifies the flavor. So I just usually put it in a uh, Produce bag or produce bag you get at the supermarket, and uh, I'll leave the end open <clears throat> so the moisture can breathe out overnight. And I'll just put it in the fridge here, and tomorrow I'll be ready to go. Like I said, it got a little hard on top, a little burnt. First time I used the little oven. Probably would have would have helped for sure. Just put a piece of tin foil over the top. So smells good. You can see uh, some of the dried fruits in here. These things are heavy. Like I say, usually around four pounds. This one might be a little less. We'll see what we got going here on the scale. Three pounds, 1.2 ounces, so a little over three pounds. It's a little light, but these are heavy. These are they're solid. There's no air in here. We didn't incorporate any air or have any leavening. Just one king size energy bar, family size. Easy to make. You can get about 16 half inch slices 
off of one of these king size family loaves. Uh, one way to do it would be to cut it in half and then keep cutting those halves in half to keep your portions exact if that's important to you. Usually your end pieces are a little crustier. I like using a serrated knife to cut these. I really enjoy the the end pieces. You can see the dried fruits, the carrots in there. This slice here. Let's see if we, we weigh it up. Three ounces. Just a little heavier on that guy, we'll see. No, 2.8 ounces. Nice firm 2.8 ounces here. Again, I like keeping these in the refrigerator. Um, the honey acts as a natural humectant, so the shelf life in the refrigerator is quite a while. And uh, generally, they're, they're gone even if there's only a one or two person household. For a month. Very easy to make king size, family size energy bars. The number of recipes is limitless. There's so many different add-ins you can make. Make what you want. We're all different. We all have different likes and dislikes and needs. So the idea behind this is to start with your whole wheat oat base. Add some liquid ingredients. Lots of options there. You just want to come up with some of a peanut butter style thickness, a little bit lighter, less thick as that. Uh, batter and bake it for a couple hours. Let's see what this guy tastes like. Excellent. Mm. You taste those dried cherries, blueberries. Mm. For more information, ideas, there's a website www.pugbread.com. Pug like the dog, bread like a loaf of bread. One word, put it together. Pugbread.com. You can also on YouTube just type the word pug bread, one word, P U G B R E A D in your search. You'll find some other recipes there. Just uh, chocolate, peanut butter, pecan one made with a stand mixers. Really yummy. Uh, two pears, an avocado, and dried diced pear recipe. Great tasting bread. So, uh, a lot of information on pugbread.com. Be fearless. Make an energy bar the way you want it. It's fresh. doesn't have a lot of not so good things in it to eat. God bless you.